Good morning, guys. It's Matt Clark and Joe Jolliker with Greenwood Roof Services. We're here today to talk to you about roof restoration, uh, restoration projects that we've completed. We've got some video footage of, uh, of an example that we can share with you at the end. Uh, but the goal of today's uh, video is to try to make everybody aware of the fact that we do restoration work. We do it on certain types of roofs. Uh, some are better than others. Uh, the actual restoration process should be something that's consulted with in the beginning of the, of, of the project to understand how long it's going to actually benefit the client, uh, what the differences are between a, a restoration and a, and a complete roof replacement. Um, it's come up recently because of the lack of materials in the supply chain. A lot of clients are interested in getting an improvement. They're in the need where their capital cycle justifies a roof replacement. Uh, but doesn't have the uh, robust budget to address some of the price increases that we've experienced. So that's uh, what we're here to talk about is that Greenwood Roof Services can help you out with an initial evaluation of your roof system, whether it's a EPDM rubber roof, uh, a built up tar and gravel roof, modified uh, TPO, PVC, single ply systems, uh, metal roofs, all of those types can be restored and uh, Basically, we go through a, for a first evaluation. Uh, what is the end root of the, of the customer's goal? Do they need a 20-year warranty because of the tenant or do they own the building and they're looking to get the longest value out of the roof system that they can and the maximum value out of the roof replacement? Uh, or is it, hey, we, just, we have this critical area, we don't have the money to actually replace the roof this year, but we're budgeting to do that and we need to kind of provide some sort of bridge gap for two years, five years, you know, as long as eight years or 10 years, depending on the type of system we're restoring. Uh, so to end up at that position, we, we asked the client to sit and consult, uh, address with us what their concerns are, how many active leaks they have. We do a visual inspection of the roof. It could be a result of heaving insulation, uh, that's prohibiting uh, water from getting to the drain and that creates a ponding water situation and they only have leaks uh, when they get rain because the water doesn't get off the roof to the drain and the heaving insulation is creating a ponding water. So a lot of situations like that, we address the insulation issue to facilitate the proper drainage, uh, restore and patch the leak area. And a lot of times we've seen that that's, you know, we, we eliminate the, uh, the squeaky wheel, so to speak and the customer is allowed to you know, get another two to five years out of it. Um, Joe's gonna be able to talk a little bit more about it later in the process, but we did and uh, we commonly do probably 10 to 20 a year where we do a full restoration on an EPDM roof. Uh, some of the criteria aside from the leaking, uh, the heaving insulation would be to have a thermal scan done on the roof to identify moisture, wet insulation, uh, visual inspection of all the counter flashings and the metal work, uh, coping caps, edge metals, drip edge, places that, that have you know drainage issues where it's either in the neighborhood of a gutter or at the leading edge of the roof. Um, the way the roof was installed, whether it was adhered or mechanically fastened, a lot of times a mechanically fastened roof will have additional hydraulic pressure on the inseams and uh, we need to flash or restore those seams and, it, and it'll solve the problem again for five to 10 years. Obviously, there's various ways that we can help you restore your roof. I'm gonna hand it over to Joe. Uh, we recently completed a, an EPDM restoration for one of his clients in the city of Lowell, Mass. And uh, honestly, the guy probably saved in the neighborhood of 80% of what a new replacement roof would cost in this area. And he's gonna have a, you know, a dry roof for six to 10 years. Thanks, Matt. So like Matt said, we rest restored a roof in Lowell, Mass. And you know, typically uh, with these restorations, the first thing I had to do is get out on site. I had to inspect the roof. I had to check to see if it actually qualifies for a roof restoration. Uh, this being an EPDM roof, there are many components to an EPDM system. So there was a couple different situations that we had to focus on as we restored the roof system. This roof in particular had about a dozen leaks on it to start. Um, we were able to identify all those leaks um, it, with with uh, repairing uh, the punctures on site first. We did that by walking each field, field sheet and identifying each um, puncture. The next thing we did was uh, we looked at the seams. Uh, we were able to probe all the seams, check for fish mouths, which fish mouths are 
uh, particularly uh, bubbles that happen in the seam. And uh, when we probe those, we're able to find those where water is infiltrating. Um, what we did in this circumstance is we went uh, edge to edge on this roof system and we, 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 we prepped the seams, we primed them, and then we reflashed each seam um, 100%. Next thing we looked at was all the roof penetrations. There are various penetrations on this roof, inclu including RTU units, pipe penetrations, and pitch pockets. We were able to identify all the deficiencies around these curves, pipes, and uh, pitch pockets. And uh, the confirmation on that was we were able to reflash, reseam, uh, top off any pitch pockets that had any type of gaps to fill around pipes. And to top it off, we reseamed all the edge metal around the perimeter, um, you know, flashing in the system 100%. So a couple different items that we discussed that we finished this restoration up with, heaving insulation was one of them. Matt kind of went in discussion with that, but there were various, uh, various areas that the insulation had heaved up due to water penetrating the system. What we were able to do in this situation was actually take fasteners with plates and screw down the areas to pin the insulation back down flash over those areas to tie, tie the areas back into the roof system to make them nice and flat so that the water could properly flow off the roof and, and didn't create any ponding. The one last item that we, we were able to tackle while on site was the counter flashing details. A lot of the counter flashing details were falling out of the wall. We were able to locate those areas, identify the situation and restore all the counter flashing around the entire roof perimeter. At the end of the day, Joe's client offers a great example of what a, a customer can expect if we were to do an, a restoration and inspection, evaluate the existing roof system, and come to an agreement that what we can offer uh, meets the expectation of the customer as well as their budget. In this case, the UPDM roof had all of the field seams restored, all of the curbs restored, all of the flashing and penetration restored, as well as the edge metal and the counter flashings. Uh, so we ended up with a good success. Client saved, uh, you know, a pile of money, probably 70 or 80 percent of what they would have spent on a new roof system, and uh, it started with a relationship with us and an inspection and the recommendation that hey, this may be an opportunity to consider. So we'd love to help you on other roof systems. Like I mentioned at the beginning, we can do this on metal roofs. We can do it with asphalt-based systems, whether it's modified or a built-up roof system. Um, TPO and PVC, also single ply membranes, similar to EPDM. Uh, but they have kind of their own level of characteristics that uh, would require a different scope of work if a restoration was being considered. Uh, so we appreciate the time and uh, in the future, if you're ever in need, feel free to reach out to us. We'd be glad to look at your roof and let you know what your, uh, your conditions allow.